And it goes a little yeah. something like Welcome, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, as you see by the title of the video, I'm gonna be showing you these two e.l.f. mascaras, and I'm gonna be showing you which one is possibly better. Now, I've had this one for a little while, and I like it, and I just got this one, and I've used it for a couple of days, and I like it too, but I can't really tell the difference between them, I guess, like, off of my eyes. Um, so I wanted to put them together to see, like, let's see how they look differently, like not together. Um, this one over here is the Elf Lash It Loud, and this one is the Elf Big Mood Mascara. I can't remember the price of either of these, so I'm gonna leave them up on the screen, and we're gonna see how they perform differently, if they look any differently, or, um, anything like that because these are both supposed to be volumizing um mascaras so i really want to see put them side by side comparison to see which one is possibly better because i personally like them both but i want to see which one i will like the most so without further ado don't forget to like comment subscribe and we're gonna get right into the video okay so first things first i really don't have any other face makeup on right now because i really want the main focus to really be on these um mascaras so that's what I'm going to do um, I'm going to put the Lash It Loud mascara on my right side and the Big Moon mascara on my left and I'm going to put them off um, separately and then at the end I'm going to show how they would look together um, if I put on another coat but I'm going to be doing two coats of each of these mascaras to show like them in their full capacity on how I would actually probably real time wear them so yeah, let's get started. This is the Lash It Loud mascara, like I said, and it's a volume mask mascara, and it's just a black mascara. They don't have these in any different colors or anything like that. Um, I know ELF has like different mascaras, but these are the two most recent, most talked about ones, so I wanted to show these. But this is the wand on the Lash It Loud mascara. It's kind of hard, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's, it's very hard. Um, not to where it hurts, but it's just hard. And there's like little bristles and it goes to like bigger ones as it gets to the end. So I'm just gonna start with one coat on my top and bottom lashes and then show you um, how it looks after. So this is the Lash It Loud mascara just on its own. As you can see towards the end here, it's clumping a little bit. Um, typically when I wear this mascara, I do put another mascara with it um, or sometimes I wear it by itself, but mostly I put another one with it to help declump my lashes. But this is just the one coat on my top and bottom lashes. And this is, you know, you see it without. But on this eye, now I'm gonna put on the Elf Big Mood Mascara, which is also, once again, just in black because they don't come in any other colors. And this brush is another volumizing mascara. They're both volumizing, but the brushes are very different. So with this brush, it is an hourglass-like shape. I don't know if you can see it very well, but it's hourglass shape. So I don't know if that's better for volumizing type mascaras, but yeah that's just how they decided to do this brush so i'm gonna put this on and then come back when i'm done okay so i have one coat done on each lash top and bottom um, and right off the bat before I put on the second coat I kind of want to say something about each of them that I've noticed 
a little differently both of these mascaras kind of bleed they're kind of on my eyelid it's not too bad but it's definitely there and um with the big mood mascara the wand is a little too big for my under lashes like i just don't like it i feel like it's gonna be a very big mess if i actually try and put it on my bottom lashes so that's one thing i would use um a different mascara for my bottom lashes because it just it, it just i feel like it didn't get all the hairs that i wanted to but i'm not able to like you know actually try and do it because the wand is just a little too big um but this one seems to me this one gives me a little bit more volume a little bit and this one is just more it, it has a little bit more length and spread outness if you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna put a second coat on of each of the mascaras and then come back and show you what they look like after second coat Okay, so here I am with both of the mascaras on and done. And remember, this one's the Lash Aloud and this one's the Big Moon. Uh, right off the bat, right off looking at it from the camera's point of view, I like the Lash It Loud one better, but in person, I like how the Big Moon one looks better because in person, I don't know if you can see, but in person, this gives more volume. So it does more kind of what the mascara says it's gonna do. This one, it, get, it does give you volume, but it, all, it gives you more length, if anything, in my opinion. But I do really like this side, how it looks on camera. It looks a lot more open, I guess is what you'll say. And I had the same trouble. Wando's too big to go under the underneath of my lashes. So that's one thing here. Um, Considering that this one gives more length and this one gives more volume, but this one's a little more separated, I feel like these mascaras would work incredibly together. And I am going to try them together, um, but I'm going to take these off first because I want to make sure that I give it the actual chance that it needs. I only put on two coats of mascara, so obviously I wouldn't want to go with another one over here and another one over there of the opposite concealers. concealers mascaras because I wouldn't want it to look bad so I'm gonna go and rinse and wash this off and then come back to do them together to see how they look to see if they're a good combination okay so both mascaras are off I'm back to mascara list eyes and um, what I'm going to do is now you know do them together but what I'm going to do to be a little extra just to see if it matters, I'm going to layer the Lash It Loud one under uh, for the first layer first on this side and then Big Mood on top. And then on this one, I'm going to do Big Mood on bottom, Lash Out Loud on top. Just because I want to see, does it really make a difference? Because I always layer my concealer, so I want to know, does it make a difference or not? So taking the Lash It Loud mascara first, I'm going to apply it to my right eye only. And you know, just regularly apply it like how I would obviously any other time. All right, have the first layer of the Lash It Loud on and now I'm gonna go in with the Big Mood directly on top right after it. This is how it's looking. As you can see, it's got like really messy towards the top so you can kind of see it a little bit but that's fine doesn't bother me that much um i'll take a q-tip after the mascara dries and stuff but 
this is how it's looking with the Lash It Loud on the bottom and the Big Mood on top. It made it look a little too clump, the like spider lashes. And I don't really like that look at all. So definitely not a preference, but we're gonna take the Big Mood one on the first layer on this eye and then put the Lash It Loud on top to see if it comes out a different result. So I have the big mood on and I just need to put on the um, Lash It Loud on top to see if it gives a different result. Okay, so this is the result of the mascaras. Um, as for a side-by-side -side comparison, both in person and on camera i like how this one looks better it isn't that big of a difference i don't think these mascaras work that well together because they don't look that great if you ask me and maybe because they both are volumizing mascaras so they just aren't built to really work together um typically when i wear this one I put my uh, CoverGirl, I believe, CoverGirl Clump Crusher Mascara to get rid of any clumps that I have. That's what I do with any mascara I put on. If my gets any kind of clumps, I put on my Clump Crusher Mascara to get rid of the clumps. Um, and that's definitely what I would do with these ones. Both of them are very messy, like especially layered together. Like these are the messiest concealers. I still am saying concealers. These are the messiest mascaras I I own, if we're being 100% honest. But I mean, it's nothing to take a little cotton swab with some micellar water and, you know, just clean it up. That's not a big deal. That's typically what I do anyway. So not that big of a deal, but it does bother me just a smidge. But yeah, this is how the difference are looking. Um, if you've tried either of these mascaras, like, let me know how you feel about them. Let me know any tips on like why you like or why you hate them. Um, I don't really care that much for the Big Mood Mascara. Like it's cute. I will use it because I have it, but definitely if someone I know wants it, I will give it away. Like a friend or something like that, friend, family, whatever, I would. I wouldn't I, it, it just out of all the mascaras I have, it's not the one that I would reach for first. It would be just the quick grab, quickly use, anything like that. The Lash It Loud one, I'll still use that. I like it, I'll still use it. So I prefer the Lash It Loud one out of these two. Uh, that's just me though, my preference. Um, but yeah, fair. feel free to leave a comment down below to let me know which one you prefer. But we have come to the end of today's video. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.